Well guys, I was working on filling the wet bin yesterday and uh, something went wrong with the corn head and all it was was inside this cover here that gear that front gear took a crap so I got my money's worth out of that one so a couple sprockets and some chain and we're we're good to go again on this um, but while I was in the yard I was, I was noticing some symptoms in the field and uh, which brought me over to here <laughs> So this is supposed to be up here, and then there's supposed to be a little bolt and adjuster system. This is the bar for the concave. So the other side is fixed. This side was supposed to be adjustable. So I put in a, a heavier plate here because the factory just had that little eighth inch strap, and over the years it started to get pounded down. Um, so yeah, it broke that little bolt and plate out of there, so I'll have to... I'll have to come in here and lift this up back to here and then uh, cut this metal away, trim that metal away, pound it away, whatever, and then figure out how to get a plate welded in there. So the fun continues. I mean, I can rest on here, so that's our load bearing, so I can rest down here um, and then just stitch it come over to this to this channel here and give it a good stitch weld down here and then across the bottom so it's it's one of them things that it's easy to see how to fix it's just going to take a couple hours of fabrication and horsing around to actually get it fixed but so that's that and then uh i was starting to notice walking behind the combine some grain on the ground and i tore the the rock, the, the feeder house floor pan is uh, gone. And it's coming apart back here. I suppose, you know, we're getting close to that 5,000 hour mark. And, ha! Ah, so, order them parts, get them coming. So when they get here, then a guy can pop them in quick, I guess, and go from there. Not fun, not fun, but could be worse. So I guess that's today is uh, fixing that piece and and that piece. And so Friday, today's Wednesday. The parts won't be in until Friday morning. Um, ordered them late last night. But yeah, so let's get going. So I welded a bolt on the end so I can hook a ratchet strap to lift it up into place when I get there. But he he just has that little bit of slop. I think we just put it in the vise and squeeze it just a, a tiny bit. Boy, that fits that fits real nice. There's no no movement. So I can get that mounted. So then being that this can take a brunt of the weight. The plate that it welds to doesn't have to be so heavy, but I'll find what I can laying around. So then I'll torch this plate. So that's about where I want that bushing to fit. This top piece will go away. I'll just torch the plate to fit that. Come across the top. Um, Cause that, there's a lot of weight on that piece. So it's not like that that concave bushing can just jump up and out. Um, I might rotate this a little bit because a lot of the force, you know, you got a tremendous amount of force coming down when you hit that slug of beans, but there is some force going back. Um, so I might rotate that a little bit, but for the most part, it's not going to hop out of there. The biggest thing is just to get, I'll have to find another piece of steel so this will get welded on the bottom, and then there's that beam of the combine right here. So I'll figure out how to get over to that for a little extra kick. 
a kicker for some support. Well, got to weld it in there. Boy, that, that don't look too bad. Don't look too bad for kind of hodgepodge and a little work table. I just used some heavy iron here as a base to weld to. And uh, I haven't knocked the flux off of this side yet. Um, but yeah, so that this is this will be the back side. Um, of course, you run multiple beads, you know. Uh, I hope the welding, welding on the outside should have drawn that part wider um, like you say if you ever want to remove a bearing off of something that, or anything that's stuck in a housing a bushing or anything you lay a bead on the inside and it will suck that part in and then you just remove it but um, I'll cool it off and then we'll test fit it guys look at that that thing just fit right in there oh man that is nice I had to cut a hole because there's a bolt right there I will never remove that bolt in the rest of my life with this combine, hopefully. If I do, I will just nip it from the inside with the torch. Um, I got good steel over here. I just got to put the strap back on, take the weight off, pull this off, and uh, clean up the paint where it's going to rub. Um, 